Welcome to another Tech Help video brought to you by AccessLearningZone.com. I am your instructor, Richard Rost. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to set and remove a password from your Microsoft Access databases. Setting a database password is a great way to prevent unauthorized use of your database. Today's question comes from Nelson from Lincoln, Nebraska, one of my Platinum members. Nelson says, I'm an attorney and I have some sensitive information in my database. Is there any way that I can put a password on it, like with Word and Excel, to prevent people from opening it? Yes, of course, Nelson, you can apply a database password. Without the password, people can't even open the database. I'm actually surprised at myself that I never covered this in any of my beginner or even expert classes. I didn't cover this until my developer lessons. And I guess my, my train of thought was... Usually, when you build a database in Access, you want other people to use it. And the security measures that I taught, for example, in my simple security video are designed to keep people who you want to be able to use the database from being able to change things, like modify the structure of the database. But you still want them to get in there and use it and look up records and add data and stuff like that. So if you want to prevent people from even getting in the database at all, all you have to do is set up a database password. Let me show you how that's done. Okay, here sitting on my desktop, I got a file called mydatabase.accdb. Now I can just double click on this and it will open. There it is, right? This is the Tech Help free template that you can download from my website if you'd like to. It's free of charge. Now you can find the database password stuff under File and then Info. And it's right here, Encrypt with Password. But if you do this, you get yelled at. It says, you must have the database open for exclusive use in order to set or remove the password. So how do you do that? Well, you have to open the database exclusively. So shut it down. Now, you can't open Access by double-clicking on a shortcut to the database. You have to go find Access on your Start menu. All right, I just made a shortcut to it right there. But just go find it on your Start menu. Or if it's on your taskbar, you can click on it there. But you can't open it up from the database shortcut. All right, so open up the Access application. All right, you get this guy. Now go to Open. Pick Browse. If you see your database here in the recently used pinned items and all that stuff, don't open it from over here. You got to go to Browse. All right, now browse to wherever your database is. Mine's on my desktop. And then find it in here. There's my database. Now... Don't hit open. Drop this guy down and pick open exclusive. You have to open the database exclusively. It's just a special means. It's a special mode where only you, know, you and only you can make changes to it. No one else can be in it if it's on a network. Now that I've got the database open exclusively, now I can set that password. So go to File, Info, Encrypt with Password. All right. Type in your password. Now, don't forget the password, okay? In fact, I strongly suggest you back up the database before you do this. Make sure you've got a good backup copy. Let me say this one more time for the people in the back row. Back up your database before you apply a password. I get emails from people all the time that say, hey, I got a database with a password on it. I forgot the password. Can you help me get in? No, I can't. I'm sorry. A, I don't know it's your database, and it would be unethical for me to help you crack a database that's not yours, if not illegal. Okay, I won't. I refuse to do that. I've seen some apps on the market that claim to be able to do that, but I've never used them. I won't use them. Okay, I have all my databases backed up every night in multiple locations, offsite. I've got whole videos on backup, backing up your data. All right, go watch those. Okay, back up your database before you put a password on it. All right, don't come to me and say you forgot your password. Sorry. Can't help you. It's just like people that come to me asking me for help with databases that they've they've got like pirated or cracked versions of Office. And no, pay for your software, people. Okay. So now that I've made sure that I've got a good backup of my database saved somewhere else, I'm going to put a password on here: five ninety nine CD. All right, five ninety nine CD. Type in the same password twice. Hit OK. All right, now. You might get this message that says encrypted, encrypting with a block cipher is incompatible with role level locking. Role level locking will be ignored. What does that mean? Don't worry about it. Basically, you're, you're turning on advanced encryption 
and you can't use row level locking. I'm not going to go into row level versus page level locking right now. Essentially, it doesn't really matter unless you've got a multi-user database with lots and lots of people working on it. If you have enough people using your database where, where you can't use row level locking, you really should be using SQL Server anyways. So don't worry about this error message. Just hit OK. Maybe I'll make another video someday in the future that talks about row level locking. Okay, so now your database is password protected. Close it, and now you can reopen it just from your shortcut. And when you do, enter database password. If I type in anything but the right password, it doesn't let you. Okay, not a valid password. You can sit here until you're blue in the face trying to figure out that password. Okay, if you type in the right password, then you're in. Okay. Now you got a password on your database and you realize you no longer want it. All right, how do you do it? Well, again, you can't just come in through here once the database is open and go to file info decrypt. You can't, you gotta have it open exclusively. So again, shut down the database, go back in through the access application. All right, open, browse. Mine's on my desktop, find yours. All right, my database. Drop this down, open exclusive. It's going to ask you for the password. Okay, now file info decrypt database. Password again. Don't forget that password. All right, now I can close the database and reopen it without the password. Okay, so that's how you set the password and then remove it if you don't want it. Okay, and again, make sure you back everything up. Now, if you're dealing with a multi-user database and you want to link to a password-protected backend, you'll need that password when you create the link. All right, when you link to it, if you're splitting your database, I've got another whole video on splitting your database, right? You'll just need that password when you connect to it. And that's a good way that you can put your, your tables up on the network, okay, and have that file protected with a password. But the password is is saved in the front end. So if they have access to the front end, they can get right in the back end. So there's a, there's a lot of different r things that you might want to consider. Now the password will keep everyone out of the database. If you give someone the password, that's assuming that they're, they have the rights to do whatever they want in that database, uh, work with the data and modify it, okay? If you want to put some simple security on it as far as the design goes, go watch my free simple security video. It's on my website. It's on YouTube. I'll put a link down below. You can click on it. I show you how to hide the tables. Even if they're linked, you can hide them so they can't see it if they're poking around. I'll show you how to hide the navigation pane. I'll show you how to disable most of the ribbon, all the sensitive commands. And I'll show you how to encrypt it into an ACCDE file so that they can't modify any of the structure of the database, the forms, the reports, that kind of stuff. And if you really want to lock down your database with professional level security, all right, I've got a whole security seminar on my website that covers everything you can possibly want to do. Setting up login pages, all this stuff. All right, tracking which users do stuff, audit trails, all right. Everything you could possibly want to know about securing your access database is included in my security seminar. Again, I'll put a link to that down below. Want to learn more about password protecting your database? Now, a simple database password keeps everybody out, but if you've got a database that you want to share, like on a network, for example, you're going to want to set up a split database. I've got other videos on splitting your database. Go watch those, okay? Watch the simple security video that I mentioned earlier that also helps you to hide some of the objects, for example, in the database and to prevent the user from seeing the navigation pane. In the extended cut for this video, I'm going to show you how to split this database but connect to the tables using that password. Then we'll create a user logon form. We'll make a user table that's got the username and password for all of your users in it. Now we know how to, how to store that in a password-protected backend file. Okay, so that's safe. They can't just open up that table database and look at the username and passwords. Okay, we'll set up the logon form. So they can either log on or cancel the exit of the database. All right, that's all covered in the extended cut. It's 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 security that's perfect for about 99% of the users that are out there. If you got some access experts working for you, like my developer students, for example, yeah, they can get around this. It's not perfect, but it's good enough for the vast majority of offices. Okay, and that's all covered in the extended cut. 
silver members and up get access to all of my extended cut videos, and there's well over 100 of them now, so it's plenty to watch. How do you become a member? Click the Join button below the video. After you click the Join button, you'll see a list of all the different types of membership levels that are available. Silver members and up will get access to all of the extended cut tech help videos, live video and chat sessions, and more. Gold members get access to a download folder containing all the sample databases that I build in my tech help videos, plus my code vault where I keep tons of different functions that I use. Platinum members get all the previous perks plus access to my full beginner courses and some of my expert courses. These are the full length courses found on my website and not just for access. I also teach Word, Excel, Visual Basic, ASP and lots more. But don't worry, these free tech help videos are going to keep coming. As long as you keep watching them, I'll keep making more. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up and feel free to post any comments that you have. I do read them all. Make sure you subscribe to my channel, which is completely free, and click the bell icon and select all to receive notifications when new videos are posted. Click on the show more link below the video to find additional resources and links. You'll see a list of other videos, additional information related to the current topic, free lessons, and lots more. YouTube no longer sends out email notifications when new videos are posted, so if you'd like to get an email every time I post a new video, click on the link to join my mailing list. Now, if you have not yet tried my free Access Level 1 course, check it out now. It covers all the basics of building databases with Access. It's over three hours long. You can find it on my website or on my YouTube channel. And if you like Level 1, Level 2 is just $1. And it's also free for all members of my YouTube channel at any level. Want to have your question answered in a video just like this one? Visit my Tech Help page and you can send me your question there. Click here to watch my free Access Beginner Level 1 course, more of my Tech Help videos, or to subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching this video from AccessLearningZone.com.